I caved. I caved and purchased the uh, new iPad. Now, I haven't owned an Apple product since the iPhone 3GS. It's been that long. So why now? What changed my mind? Well, I'll tell you, but first, if you're new to the channel, here I focus on tech reviews and tutorials. Consider subscribing. We have an awesome community and I would love for you to be a part of it. So like I've said, I've been an Android guy for almost 10 years. I love the freedom that I get with Android. Now, I'm not sure how much more you can actually do on Apple products nowadays, but with Android, there's just so much you can do. So much to customize. I can spend hours tweaking little things here and there to make the device truly stand out from the rest. So in a nutshell, I like the freedom to be as creative as I want with my device. That's where the new iPad comes into play. Not necessarily the customization, I don't really care for that on a tablet, but for the creativity. One of my favorite all-time hobbies is drawing, painting, logo design, just creating art in general. And in the past eight years, I've transitioned to digital art. I've owned a handful of tablets, Android, Windows, Chromebooks, all with pen support. And while they got the job done for the most part, I kept hearing all kinds of great things about the iPad Pro. How good the Apple Pencil is, how the iPad Pro is the best of the best when it comes to tablets for artists, how the 120 hertz screen was a game changer, how the full version of Photoshop was coming to the iPad. So after hearing all these great things, I started to look into the iPad more. I really wanted to get one, but I just could never get over the design, how big the bezels and home button were making the iPad look dated. So I kind of just forgot about getting one all together, but then they went ahead and announced the new iPad Pro third generation. My eyes widened and my mouth awed. Beautiful. Hmm? I never thought I'd be drooling over an Apple product, but there I was, eyes glued to the screen and instantly knowing that I had to have one. I want it! The thinner bezels and square design went such a long way in making the iPad Pro more modern looking. In comparison, the previous 2018 iPad looks like a device from 2009. So the main two things that got me to pull the trigger on the iPad Pro third generation were the Apple Pencil and the new design was the bullet in the chamber. Unfortunately, I have to wait till mid-December for my iPad to ship. I'm just super excited to give Apple another try to try something different and it's really sparking back up that flame for creativity. Uh, there's a whole lot of things I'm sure that I'm not mentioning here that the iPad can do. I'm saving all that for my review, but these are just some of the reasons that made me an Android guy buy the new iPad Pro. I'm sure there are plenty other reasons to buy an iPad. Uh, the super beefy A12X Bionic chip, just to name another thing. But for me and my use case, it's simply for creating. I'm a creator, it's what I enjoy doing, and I think I can create more with iPad. So that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button twice. Let me know what I could have done differently. If you haven't yet, check out some other content. Consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it greatly. I'm signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.